We're growing about 10 different varieties of crops, ranging from small seed, coriander, hemp, carrots, grass seed. This is not a test. The following message has been issued and authorized at the request of Civil Defense at 9.52 a.m. on the 12th of February 2023. All networks and radio stations have been shut down in order for the following announcement to be played through. The following message has been broadcast to all populated areas within the regions of Waikato, the Bay of Blenty, Manawatu Wanganui, and Hawke's Bay. May we please have your attention. Approximately 10 minutes ago, the Tongariro Volcanic Center has erupted, sending ash more than 30 kilometers into the upper atmosphere. All urban areas within the region of Manawatu Wanganui are in a state of emergency and are currently in the process of evacuation. If you are within the region of Manawatu Wanganui or Waikato, it is important to listen to the following instructions. If you live within a radius of 20 kilometers of the Tongariro Volcanic Center, you must evacuate immediately as pyroclastic flows have been reported to have come from the mountain. Follow local advice from your civil defense or emergency management group as well as other local authorities in order to stay informed on the current situation. In the event that ash produced from Mount Tongariro does become a hazard to areas surrounding the central plateau, it is important to take note of the following instructions. Remain indoors as ash from a volcano is a health hazard, especially if you have respiratory difficulties. Do not attempt to clear ash from your roof while ash is falling. Keep pets indoors. Do not drive when there is ash on the road. If you have to go outside, wear protective clothing such as, goggles, sturdy footwear, gloves, and clothing that covers your arms and legs. As well as that, you must move pets and livestock indoors or under shelter if you do not wish for them to suffocate in the conditions. Close all doors and windows in order to keep hazardous material from entering your area of residence. Cover sensitive electronics, motor vehicles, machinery, or any other object that runs on electricity which could get damaged by the ash. Disconnect drain pipes downspouts from gutters to stop drains clogging. It is also encouraged to check up on your neighbors friends, or family in case they may have been affected by the eruption. Civil Defence Authorities as well as the New Zealand Defence Force will enter affected areas shortly and help evacuate those who may be physically unable to be evacuated. If you are outdoors at the time of eruption, you must seek immediate shelter either within a car or inside a stable building. It is also advised not to make unnecessary calls to other friends as you may be holding up emergency calls. All flights heading to or from any city within the North Island will be diverted away from the North Island. All airports will be shut down. Pyroclastic flows have been produced from the eruption. If you are in the path of this flow, you must move immediately as these flows can get as hot as 700 degrees Celsius and you will face certain death. As well as that, it is likely that lahars will be common around rivers and streams surrounding the Tongariro Volcanic Center. It is important to stay away from large bodies of water around the Tongariro National Park. Rescue helicopters will help escort people from nearby trails such as the Tongariro Crossing. This has been an official broadcast from Civil Defence. Please stay tuned for more updates.